Well, thanks for joining us. So close that elusive home win, but I'd imagine under the circumstances, satisfied with the point? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think the um, message before the game today was uh, let's use this find today. Let's use today as a uh, opportunity to build. Let's find it as an opportunity for the players to impress potentially a new manager sitting in the stand, people that are watching from a distance, to give them that foot up so that they, you know, someone new comes into the club with a good impression of you. And then also give that, that person, if or when they, you know, soon they arrive, some points that they can take the club forward on. Um, are we disappointed at the goals we conceded and the fact that we've let him free again? Unbelievably so. Disappointed with the, with the first half after a good 10, 15 minutes? Yes, very much so. Um, but today was a day where I think we can walk off the pitch and say, thank God it's not us letting in a late, late, late equaliser, late, win, late winner. Um, so we have to, we have to um, give the boys a massive pat on the back. Every one of them. You know, all the boys that started, the lads that come on, substitutes come on and they're there to make an impact. And, and I thought they all done that today. What happened in the first half? Because you started so brightly, you got that ideal start, then seemed to invite the pressure. It's, I think it's a little bit of that... Um, when you haven't got a win for a while, that, that uncertainty, excuse me, that it creates for, for individuals and, and I suppose as the group. We've done a lot of work this week on trying to be positive, trying to get up the pitch, trying to release players to go and put pressure on the opposition rather than being that team that have to defend last ditch and and, and have, have pressure thrown on top of you. And I thought that the first 10, 15 minutes, we looked a, you know, we looked a real threat. We, we knew where we could hurt the opposition despite their change of shape and, and, and we did. And it was obviously a very, very well worked goal. We had another opportunity from down that side and gave ourselves a real platform to go and build. And, and in the end, you know, we, we, we went into that sort of negative mindset, let, let Joe and Sam become deep. And, 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 and the, I think the, uh, the negatives of that system that we started with are is if, you're, if your full-backs or wing-backs can't get up the pitch, then you, 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 you draw pressure on yourselves. And I thought that's what we did. You made some very positive changes, not only at the break, but in the second half. You seem to want that second half to start very quickly. You came out so early. Yeah, um, yeah. it, it was less, let's go out now and show, show ourselves and get ourselves in a positive mindset. You know, we, we, it's pointless feeling sorry for ourselves again. We need to go out there and I think so many times this year we've, we've come out in the second half and give it a right good go. Um, it's disappointing that we keep having to having a right good go to get ourselves back in a game. That, that that's obviously the biggest disappointment. But yeah, we, we felt that there was only one way to react, and that was well, that was of a positive nature. I thought Matty was outstanding in the second half, um, and then I thought, like I say, I thought the boys went went with him. He led from the front. He really caused the problem, and he was a nuisance up there. But I thought Connor, I thought Louis while he was on, Jordan and Broth when they, you know when they joined the game, I thought they did, and, and obviously the boys up behind them really give them a, a, give us a platform to go and get back in the game. And it was a test of character when you conceded that late goal. Incredible finish by the, by the boy. I can't remember who scored it now, but incredible finish of standing right behind it. And as soon as he's left his foot, I thought, oh, no, that's, I know where that's going. And, and you sort of think, oh, no, not again. But, um, yeah, you know, positive to go and get ourselves back in the game. So I lost my trail of thought there, Dave. But, um, yeah, you know, the, the goal goes in and we give have, to go and, have to go and try to fight our way back into the game. How difficult has this week been for you after the announcement in terms of your own decision? <laughs> um, I don't know if difficult's the right word because I, I've tried to sort of, hopefully with yourself and, and, and people standing here now, I've tried to, I promised myself that I would always be honest and I would always be, be straight with the players and, and, and straight with yourselves as to how I felt games had gone. Um, what I thought of our performances and, and the way that we've gone about our business, and I, hopefully I've maintained that. Um, and that's all I've done this week. You know, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away with the um, reception for myself personally, but I think also for, for the club that, that that shouldn't go unnoticed as well. There's been a lot made about oh, I've chosen to move back into my old role. I decided management wasn't for me, and, and I think the club, from a personal perspective, have shown me magnificent support to say that they're happy to take me back in that role. So I think everybody deserves a pat on the back for that. Personally, it's not been an overly difficult week because it gives us a clear week without another game to go and work and, and try to prepare ourselves properly for today, which is something I, I love doing. And I think the moment that we, me, I'd spoken to you know Nigel and, and Martin about my my personal decision. It was a bit of a weight off my mind, and I was really looking forward to today. I've hated being the manager during 90 minutes. That's been the, the biggest thing that's that's um, probably led to my my decision. But today I, I was ready to embrace the day because of a good week and, and the fact that I suppose that that decision was uh, you know had been had been put out in the open. So delighted with obviously with, with the response that we've received. But I, I suppose once I'd done it, it was more of a weight off my mind than anything else. 
got any idea what the time scale from here will be? No, I, I think um, no is the first answer. I think what the, the one thing that I've sort of picked up off of Martin this week was that there's obviously been CVs that, that have come in and people that have, that have shown their hand for the job. Uh, it's probably important today for one or two, I don't know who's been at the game or not, but one or two people to come here and see what we're about because I'm sure there might have been one or two that were I mean, an are in about applying for the job, one or two that had that wanted to be really serious about what we look like. Hopefully we've shown that potential candidate that we've got enough in here for, for someone to really come and embrace this role because it's a fantastic club and, and I think there's a group of players there that they can certainly build. I think it was important we got today done and over. Uh, obviously we got a point, but then I think now what that, that means is over the next couple of days there might be another wave of of people coming in for the role and then, and then Martin and, and the board can start to make those decisions as to what the shortlist and, and how quickly they can get that done. Do you expect to be in charge next weekend away at Northampton? I don't know, I just left it with the lads there. What will be, will be next week. Um, what, what is important is that we take our attitude from the, from the second half into, into next week. Uh, Jobs has just followed up with what I said to the lads after the game there and said it's very frustrating that we finish games so strong. We need to try to find that momentum, which we did today and obviously never built on it. So hopefully the, the point gives us that and the, and the second half performance gives us that opportunity to sort of kickstart a little run of results and positive results so that... Um, whether it's me or someone else in charge next week, we you know we get another positive performance. I understand from the man himself that James Dayton could be in contention for next weekend. Yeah, I, I, I were very close to, to including him in the squad today, but I think he probably would have been irresponsible of me. Um, I wanted to be a manager that had James Dayton in his team or his squad because he's um, he's such an influential uh, player amongst the group. He's obviously a fantastic footballer as well, but it would have been irresponsible for me to include him today. So another week's worth of training, another opportunity for him to, to build and have a, hopefully a clear, good run, a you know, really intense week of, of work, and, and hopefully that will see him closer to the group. Because you really haven't had much luck with the injuries. What about Jamie Turley and, of course, Joby McEnough? Jobs has really put himself for a run today. Um, and he's trained a fair bit this week. There's been a couple of sessions that we've done that were a bit twisty and turny that we had to be a little bit careful with him. But he's joined in on the whole, so that's a positive week that I can tick off this week. Um, I think, I said upstairs before the game today, I think Joby's going to be massive. He's been fantastic for me. He's been a great support, but I think he's even more of a, of a support. He's even more of an influential character when you've got him on the pitch. So um, hopefully that's sooner rather than later. Is there part of you wonders how different it could have been if Joby hadn't been injured for those 10 games? Yeah, yeah, being honest. Uh, I don't think that takes too much away from a particular individual or anyone that we would have played in their position. But I think what Joby does is he gives us so much. That was why... Uh, Justin last year was so hell bent on making sure that he was in the team. It, you know, why he played 60, 65 minutes at Wembley, why he got through periods of games at, at Solio away, and, and we had to sort of keep wheeling him out, although he was carrying an injury. But what he gives the group without, um, you know, without the quality of the football that he is, but with that calming influence that he gives, that reassurance that he will take the ball when, the, you know, when the games. 100 miles an hour where he'll settle people down and talk through people through things by just having that calmness and that experience. I don't suppose he gets you know, too flustered in terms of some of the crowds and the, the occasions that he's played in, whereas you know, whereas a lot of people would do. So it's massive. It's, it would have been a big, big, big help for us. But unfortunately, we haven't had him. So it's, it, it's not really something worth getting too hung up on. Well, uh, you know, thank you very much. It's been a, a pleasure. And who knows, we might have this conversation after. The game you never know. I think, I think the big thing, Dave, before it goes any further, is this is an opportunity for me to say that it sends ting it tingles down my spine. But to, for me to walk around the pitch here today and, and hear people singing my name is something I never, ever thought would happen. I think um, I walked on to get on the bus at, at Solio away last year and there was about four people singing my name. And that was like something that I went home and told my family about and my, my kids were like oh, what song are they singing dad but I'm so disappointed that it was only my little boy here today and my missus and my little girl my mum and dad all the way didn't get to experience that that that's that has um, blown me away and, and, and last week I made a request that if people wanted to be negative to be negative towards me this week's been a week in my life and the response is that I'll never forget but but walking around a pitch at the end there despite it not being three points which would have been perfect send something that I'll never experience again because everybody knows that it's not about results. You know, what you had to manage, nobody else has had to manage. And the way in which you have led and supported so many people through the grief and the fact that the team is as positive they are, it says so much. And all we can say is thank you, Ross. No, I appreciate that, Dave. And I think the biggest thing to probably sign off on today is the fact that 
Justin's family are up there and that that's um you know the boys are putting a performance that we we come to expect of, of Justin's team last year so you know as much as I, I'll take incredible amounts from today the boys will because it's a positive result and a positive second half performance let's hope they go home with a smile on their face as well you've continued his work well done boss Thanks, thank you